Intense video tonight showing the moment a Long Beach man knocked on his own brother's door and shot him dead. Ring video also caught the gun battle that followed when police put an end to it all. Tonight, KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen is live in Long Beach where she spoke to neighbors about the family. Lauren? Well, Pat, you know, the family has ties here in Long Beach, but the way neighbors describe the brothers really is like night and day. One kind and caring, the other mean and violent. We want to warn you, this video you're about to see is disturbing. The final moments between two brothers. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Police say Jeffrey Roberts drove his van from Long Beach to Scott Roberts' home in Ogden, Utah. Ring camera video shows Roberts walking up to Scott's front door. A few minutes later, Scott answers. Came by to see Ma. She's not here. Where's she at? In Missouri. After a brief talk, Roberts reaches into his jacket. After firing multiple shots, you see Roberts walking out of the home. Something drops out of his jacket. Moments later, he comes back carrying a bag and a shotgun. Police say Roberts also shot his sister-in-law. A neighbor calls 911, unsure of what he heard. When police get there, the house is smoking. They say Roberts used road flares to set it on fire. Roberts then comes blasting out of the house with multiple guns in his hands. Police say he started to shoot at them. They fired back. Stand by, stand by. I don't see his gun. After the rapid gunfire exchange, police body camera video then shows Roberts dropping to his knees. He was killed. Investigators say Roberts was armed with a handgun, loaded magazines, and more than 150 shotgun shells. Roberts' sister-in-law survived. 730 miles away back in Long Beach, this home on a quiet street is where the Roberts family once lived. A neighbor who didn't want her identity shown knew the family. Oh, it break my heart to hear that Scott got killed. Um, honestly, uh, Jeffrey knows so much. She says Roberts was arrogant, entitled, and above all, violent. He would yell at his mom. He would tell her, shut up. He would, um, he was just very aggressive with her. As for Scott, she paints a much different picture. A man and a father with integrity, without a violent bone in his body. He would take the shirt off his back for somebody else. That's the kind of person he was. And I spoke with a family member earlier tonight on Facebook, and she told me she believes her uncle Scott died a hero, saying that he told her aunt to run, and she believes that's what saved her. Tomorrow night, there's going to be a vigil for the family in Utah. Reporting live in Long Beach, Lauren Posen, KCAL News.